what's up uh, ladies and gentlemen welcome on board uh, this is hot and juicy with me your girl miss Mbeng Kamesh number one ultra urban entertaining program on the best of platforms are uh, 237 showbiz uh, this is the only platform which gives you true and verified latest and trending gist about Kamesh 237 entertainment industry Welcome to the first ever episode launching those so many exciting episodes we're going to be sharing here. You better take the best position wherever you're watching us presently or better still subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification button not to miss any bit of this program. Away from that, let's dive straight into serious matters with the news roundup and this are the headlines. Stanley Enos' performance at the Voice Africa Francophone receives mixed reactions as he performed an acoustic version of his 2014 hit song, Empire. Kami Festival, a three days event, sees a great improvement from its previous editions despite it being held in Boya with the ongoing Anglophone crisis. Biggie 237 announces the launching of a brand new season titled The Revolution. This is season two. Will the public's love overshadow the drama and questionable organization from its previous edition? Hey, it's 15 million on the line here. Sakoti allegedly sent shots at Jovi. The bars came in hot. Will Jovi respond? Boko Gun tightened their defense. The undisputable UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Ganu, lands in Cameroon and receives a heartwarming welcome from the hundreds of fans who came out to pick him at the airport. Those were the headlines, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to dive straight into details. Stick around, guys. Don't know where. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, let's open this news round up with this hot gist from Cameroonian artist Stanley Eno. King Kong was invited by the Voice of the Francophone to perform at their season 3 semi-finals. And out of the so many amazing songs he has in his discography, he chose to perform his 2014 hit song, Empire. <laughs> Basically, Empire is the song which reveals Stanley Enno to the thousands of fans he has. The song counts more than 1.5 million views on YouTube released seven years ago. The song equally earns him an MTV African Music Award in 2014 in the Best New Act category. I think we should have a snippet of that performance then though. We can talk later. Watch. Shallow deep and I go marry you. Lady Ponsa, I go marry you. That was the acoustic version of M. Pear Stanley Eno put up there at Voice Africa Francophone with his teddy bear El Pucho. Guys, people are talking about this acoustic version. That was a live performance. I want to hear equally from you. What do you think about the performance? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Let's ride on with the next gist. The Cameroon Film Festival Kamib was at its fourth edition and this time around it still holds at Boya from the 19th to the 24th. It was the fourth, fourth edition and we had a lot of celebrities and artists who attended and equally as guests of honor we had the Nollywood actor Ramsey Noah who was bullied by Cameroonians because he presented himself at Kamib grand opening dress in a casual manner like why would people always react when the when celebrity always uh, does something like people should feel free in what they put on anyways let's not talk about that let's talk about all the vibes all the beautiful things that happened at this fourth edition i would prefer we watch these images from the white party to the cultural evening to the mask night and to the gala which took place on the 24th guys watch this
congratulations to the organizing team big shout out to Agbo Gilbert CEO and founder of Kamif guys keep up man keep up keep making Cameroon proud Biggie 227 announces the launching of a brand new season titled The Revolution. This is season two. Will the public's love overshadow the drama and questionable organization from its previous edition? Hey, it's 50 million on the line here. Now, people are questioning uh, the organization of this second edition. Remember that Biggie is still a baby reality show in Cameroon, unlike what we see in other countries. We are still starting. Now, we just want to believe that there will be a lot of improvement in this season. So, let's just think that as the price has risen from 10 to 15 million, it's a step already to show that there will be a lot of innovations in this season. So, who is going to be your favorite contestants? Guys, follow up Big Eight 237 for more details. Remy Kanking Tools uh, and Kiflex have also finally sought out their issues on the controversy surrounding the song Mavi released by Remy few weeks ago. Now, Remy is an upcoming Cameroonian artist signed uh, under Kanking Tools music. One month ago, he released the song titled Mavi featuring Cameroon's fastest rapper Kosi. Few days after the song was released, US-based Cameroonian artist Kiflex Afusu came out claiming that the song Madi was stolen from him and he sent a serious warning to them, calling them to bring down the song from YouTube or else. Or else, that is the word that got me. Or else what? <laughs> after sending that strong message, Khan Kintus immediately took the song down from YouTube and uh, the song was off YouTube for like two to three weeks and it was only recently that the song came back on YouTube. We want to believe that both parties have finally sorted out their issues. We're happy for that. All we want is for the industry to grow, okay? Next year. Now it's Ghanaian rapper Sakodi sending indirect shots at Cameroonian rapper Jovi Le Monstre. What happened? This beefing is not something that started years ago. The thing has been going on for quite some time now. Yes, now, and looks like it's not ready to stop any moment from now. On the song WAG by Rouge, the person he's talking about on this song 100% matches Jovi's description, especially when he says, Nigga, you've been tripping on the Twitter page. You want to start a war, but you have been afraid. The Bubble God has been on a Twitter rant in recent months and a topic he has touched in numerous of his tweets is Sakodi. We all know about that man. Joby has always talked of his lyrical superiority towards the Ganyan rapper and has criticized so very much the fact that the Ganyan rapper always raps in his dialect and not in English for people to actually get what he says. Sakodi doesn't stop there. He sent numerous shots claiming to be extremely superior to Jovi as he says. No. And as the saying goes, Ooh. we all okay, cannot be wearing the same clothes. No. You came in the game when I was a legend, you're not even on my level, regardless, nigga, we ain't close. Do you think Jovi is gonna respond to Sakoti? Man, we are tired of all this briefing, all this ranting. Like, those are two great grown adults, great artists, great rappers. Why don't you guys just step on the song and give us something mind-blowing that will carry Africa to the next level? Stop all this unnecessary beefing and uh, make business, make more money. That's what is important. We're tired of you beefing each other. You're in Ghana, you're in Cameroon, but you keep beefing each other. What's wrong? Man, you guys should stop this one more of positive vibes in the industry. Let's go straight to the next chip. UFC 
heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Ganu, finally arrives Cameroon one month after defeating a former heavyweight champion, Ty Mayosi. He was heartily welcomed by the thousands of fans who came to pick him up at the airport. From these images, you can see how everybody was very happy receiving Francis Ganu back home. Man, that was a historic uh, victory he gave us one month ago and he went round the championship belt. What I like most about uh, Francis Gallo winning the championship belt is that he said he will put the championship uh, belt in a public museum where all the youths can see and uh, think that uh, everything is achievable in life like if francis ganu can do it why not me that's a great initiative once more congratulations francis ganu we are proud of you thank you keep being you guy welcome back guys thank you so very much for still watching if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do so click on the notification button i am giving you just a few seconds for that yes thank you guys i love it when you show me this kind of love let's dive straight into the top 10 countdown Position we have voices and galsies by Cameroonian artist Josie Kobo. I'm a boy, I'm a boy. You are who? You are who? I'm in town, I'm in town. You are where? I'm in a chair. I'm a boy. Enjoyment by Cameroonian artist Hardfire comes up at the ninth position. The song is actually produced by Bobo B. Coming up at the eighth position, we have uh, Oh Yeah by Motherland Empire found the end of featuring the legendary Petty. Je n'ai rien fait by Cameroonian Bolle artist Happy featuring Bikusi artist Manipela comes up at the sixth position. Bikusi Diva Lady Pons teams up with Roger and gives us the song titled Nubli Pa occupying the fifth position. The Yango girls grace your screen with this brand new smashing uh, single titled Mula. Pepe is Cameroonian artist Ewube's brand new song and it is hitting the third position. The song is produced by Aquando. Mr. Leo comes up with a brand new song titled JJ smashing our second position. Okay guys, let's ride on with our number one video of the week, which is this smashing brand new jam, banging and trending everywhere, titled Walu Cafe from Cameroonian Bangando artist Avero Jess. The song was released one week ago and counts more than 200 views on YouTube. Enjoy! Yves Dembella, la tour de contrôle. College done by a boya based pastor identified as Pastor Ethan. He did a pick college about Cameroonian rapper Shoyo with a very misguiding caption. You want to see that? <laughs> Guys, check this out. Okay, this is actually the pick college uh, Pastor Ethan did about concerning Shoyo. This is the caption. He says, It shall never be well with the devil. Is it some kind of burst the pastor was searching for? <laughs> Anyways, Shoya did not give him that. He instead went uh, under the comment sections of all the blogs who posted this and was asking the fans to share, like share my nigga. <laughs> Thank you very much Shoya for comporting yourself. Okay guys, it is with this pick of the week that we finally draw the curtains for today's episode of Hot and Juicy. I was your host, Miss Meg. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this show in the comment section. But before we go, our sincere heartfelt condolences to Cameroonian artists Tizi Panchak and comedian Mustiklo Karismatic who recently lost their fathers. Thank you so very much guys for watching. It was hot and juicy. I was your host, 
miss Ben. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I'll be right back next week with much more hot digest. Goodbye.